हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट निटे यूनिवर्सिटी और यू कैन कॉल निटे डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी वन ऑफ द प्रीमियम ऑप्शन इन यूजी एंड द पीजी प्रोग्राम्स so it has campuses in karnataka and this particular deemed university it is uh, given by mhrd ministry of human resource development government of india as a category a status which is highest and in terms of nirf ranking for nitte university it's 66th best as per the nirf 2024 information and as per the nac accreditation it's a nac a plus graded at the university level right so that is the in more information about the global rankings the qs world university ranking has rated as 143rd best in southern asia in 2024 in the times world uh, times higher ranking higher education world ranking it is rated between 1500 best universities globally and the in the times impact ranking it is under the band of 300 to 400 best universities globally so now talking about the campuses so they have basically nitte institutions have three campuses uh, one campus is located at nitte and nitte is based out of coastal karnataka this is the main campus the second campus is uh, at mangalore and the third campus which you can see here is in bangalore so first talk about the first campus engineering college called nmam institute of technology and this is part of nitte university apart from nitte nmam institute of technology they also have ks hegde institute of management which is also part of nitte university but this focus uh, if you talk about in terms of engineering courses undergraduate programs which you can apply like btech artificial intelligence and data science uh, btech uh, eiml btech biotechnology and btech in civil these are all options available in the nitte university campus which is available at nitte i'll come to the courses in bangalore campus later in part of this video but in nitte campus you can get uh, computer and communications csc with cyber security then electrical electronics electronics communication and ec with act which is advanced communication technology apart from that you can also do ec with vlsi design information science engineering mechanical engineering uh, robotic and artificial intelligence and they are also offer mtech programs like computer science engineering construction technology cyber security and the electric vehicle technology some more options available in mtech this mtech in mechatronics structural engineering vlsi design embedded system and they do have a mca program at the nitte campus i'm going to talk about the tuition fees which is related with the btech program so there are two campuses as you understood nm amit the nitte campus and the bangalore campus so for uh, for example for the branches like aeronautical engineering this is not available in nitte campus it is only available in the bangalore campus similarly for aid branch this course is available in both the campuses so for the students who are taking in the nitte campus fees is 3 lakh rupees per year but if you get a scholarship the scholarship fees will be only 1 lakh 75000 so aiml branch 3 lakhs in the nitte campus 325 in the uh, in the nitte minakshi campus in bangalore and after scholarship it will be lower which is only 1 lakh 75000 biotechnology fees the fees is around 125000 and this is only available in nitte campus civil engineering the fees is 125000 available in both the campus so in the main campus 125000 civil engineering in the bangalore campus 150000 cce branch computer and communication branch this fees is just 2 lakh rupees per year and after scholarship it is just 1 lakh 50000 per year computer science branch right fees is 3 lakhs in the main campus and after scholarship 175000 now let's see csbs branch this is only available in the nitte minakshi bangalore campus cyber security available only in the main campus 3 lakh normal fees 175000 after scholarship triple e branch electrical electronics available in both the campus 125000 in the main campus 150000 in the bangalore campus ec available in both the campus 2 lakhs in the main campus 2 lakh 50000 in the bangalore campus electronics uh, ec and communication advanced communication technology branch only available in the main uh, campus 1 lakh 75000 as a normal fee and after scholarship 1 lakh 50000 now some more branches so you can see electronics engineering with vlsi design and technology 1 lakh 75000 fee Uh, in the main campus and with scholarship one lakh fifty thousand in Nitte Minakshi Bangalore campus two lakhs fees the fees after scholarship one lakh fifty thousand information science engineering also available in both the campus uh, main campus fees is three lakhs Bangalore campus three lakh twenty five thousand mechanical also available in both the campus main campus fees one lakh twenty five thousand 
and one lakh fifty thousand in the Bangalore campus. Robotic and artificial intelligence, the last branch, you can see available in both the campus. Fees in the main campus is two lakhs, and after scholarship one lakh fifty thousand. Now talking about the placement. So this is the placement comparison or total number of offers received in last. 10 to 12 years so you can see in 2022 was the best 1299 offers were there and in 2023 also it was good 1210 offers but now in 2024 it was around 878 offers and most of the college has got the lower offers this year now talking the, about the trends in the highest salaries so in 20 passing batch highest salary was 30 lakhs in 2021 batch the highest salary was 24.78 lakhs and then increased to well 52.63 lakhs the highest package in 2022 batch further you see in 2023 batch it was 46.54 lakhs and for the last batch which is 2024 batch the highest salary was 52 lakhs so that was good trend now the type of companies which are like a top-notch companies paying higher packages here amazon cohesity comvault microsoft Pilo, Nedek, so most of them are like uh, IT companies and some like Yoga Kava, Electric, Abort, etc. Now I'll also cover some students, you know, who got the highest salaries like Amazon Information Science Engineering student 45.64 lakhs. Similarly, other students at Amazon CSC branch. These are some more offers from Amazon, two more students, 45.64 lakhs package. These are couple of students with the cohesity and uh, Information Science Engineering and CSC students earning 22.42 lakhs package. These are some more students in the same cohesity like 22.4 and Combold 29.25. So good IT companies are visiting. These are international places. You says companies need a read corporation 22.67 and Yoga Kava Electric that is also 20 lakhs package and Japanese company right. So few more companies microsoft and uh, twilo i mentioned 43 lakhs package you saw uh, say some more uh, twilo csc and nidac 22.67 one more student at nidac and actually two more students mechanical department and mca department some more students at the same company few of the more students placed in amazon in the previous blacks 30 lakhs package these are some more at amazon and cohesity on the top notch uh, this is also again the same companies, Yogokawa and uh, uh, Electric in Japan, 19 lakhs package. This is also one of the good companies in IT industry, Nutanix, 18 lakhs package to two students. Some more NIDEX students at 18 lakhs package. And so on you can see here. This is another Japanese company called Koyabashi Create. So 17.5 lakhs package to two students, Computer Science and Information Science Department. This is VMware company which is again in the state of Bangalore, 11.75 lakhs package to two students. Moving further, you will see some more students at VMware and in the previous batch, Amazon also 45.64. So that is the overall placement trends. Now the data which I will show is as per the NIRF data which they presented to the government and the latest available as of now is 2023 data here. So you see out of 1000 eligible students, 748 who got placed in 2021 package was 4 lakh median salary next year in 2022 also 701 student got placed and in 2023 batch out of 1087 eligible 761 students got placed so every year around 750 to 760 students get placed and the median salary is around 4.5 lakhs as per the NIRF data so that's all thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye